You're live. Oh my god. What a data of morning. Lockdown had nothing on us. <laughs> we had how are you feeling this morning, Daphne? Yeah, screaming. Screaming, 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 toddler. But anyway, I'm here, I'm live, I'm nervous, yeah. I'm a little bit anxious, which didn't probably help. No. Nope. Is anyone on? Can you see the comments? Uh, no one's there yet. Alright, so late. But Let's just have a bit of a zen moment, shall we? Um, anyway, happy birthday, Duncan. Thank you. Oh, Jackie Vincent has said happy oh, birthday. Jackie. We're starting to get some people. We were a bit late this morning. It's been a bit of a, as Imogen was saying earlier, a traumatic. We're not on the BBC. Yeah. But happy Sunday morning. Now we're going to be happy and bright. Because guess where we are? We're in the woods. We're in the deep, dark woods. <laughs> Who's this? Who's this? Look, there's a Jack. Jack Baxter. Baxter's the dogs. Jack, the about. Oh, we've got a few people. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, everyone say happy birthday. Thank you so much, everyone. I'm happy not very... birthday. Happy birthday from Jackie, from Hannah. Oh, good luck, Imogen, from Hannah. I need more than luck, Hannah. Need, like, Facebook user, I'm here. Hello. Hello, Facebook user. Say hello to us. Oh, Duncan, I made an error. What? I arranged to have breakfast with your friend Adam and Rob at 11, and now because we're late, that's made her break. So, hi, Rob and Adam. I'm really sorry. This wasn't quite what we had planned, but we'll do something in the week, and I'm sorry, Duncan. Okay. Right, this is a pan. That's a pan. Throwing pan, not to smash on your head. But my dad was really ill. He asked him to smash one on his head to take the pain away. Anyway. Lovely. <laughs> That's a cheerful thought on the uh, 1st of November. Yeah. Happy birthday! Put right. the pan on the fire. Pan fire. Now what? Did you bring the oil with you? No. Doesn't matter. It's fine. It's with me. Don't be trying to put that on me, Mr. That's alright. You got those sausages. All right, unwrap that tin foil. It's fine. Yeah, shove them in there and they will oil the pan. Yes, we have. Oh, I did pack some butter. <laughs> Can I zoom in? It was my grandmother's. Duncan's grandmothers and oh how he loved it. And then one day a tiny little she <coughs> came along and she loved to eat butter with food. And she took the lid off like this, and what did it happen? Egyptian artwork or something. Right, so cut the sausages off. Right. What's your sausage hack? Right, so they're partially cooked sausages. So they what do you mean by partially cooked? You buy the partially cooked? No, you get them and you put them in a pan um, with a lid on for about 10 minutes, turning every minute. So I will share after. Duncan has. Duncan is. Make sure you keep it true, that. I am. Duncan is a sausage snob. Of the worst kind. Duncan does not like it when you grill them. That's why they were called bangers. Am I right, Duncan? People eat, well, cheap sausages will go and bang. And yeah. That's why you had to put little fork bricks in them. So that was my favourite job as a kid. It was mm. cheap sausages. And they don't taste great. So what you want to do is you want to do Duncan's special sausage cooking technique. I know Tracy does it. Loads of people have taken it up. And yeah. they can't believe the different so flavour. For the first 10 minutes or so of cooking a sausage, keep a lid on it on a low to medium heat. Turn it. I am. You're still in shot. I'm a very steady hand. I'm a very steady hand, but also people are commenting. Oh, yeah, I forgot I had to read comments. You think my job's easy? Yeah. Good morning. Oh, I've already got one. Good luck, Imogen. I'm here, morning. Happy birthday from Happy. I've done these ones. Love the coat. 
thanks. I took my coat off. It was obviously from a while ago. But I loved it. This was a tenner in the charity shop, and I felt dumb that I looked like I was going to a country in West Barda. Yeah, I do look a bit. Do like a bit. My from the 80s. I love it. Love a bit of vintage. Right, and uh, Sorsha says, happy birthday. Jackie Vinton, I use an air fryer to cook my sausage. Perfect every time. Oh, what is an air fryer? So it's, I think it's one of those uh, new, new fangled gadgets which has a tiny amount of oil and it spins it up there. Right, can I the oven? Right, um, in one corner of the pan, put a knob of butter and a drop of, um, what should we call it? Truffle oil. Yeah, in the corner of the round pan. Put a truffle oil and get the herbs out. Oh, truffle oil. We talked about this last week, but it's from M&M. Brilliant stuff. About a fiver. That's enough. Oh, you don't need much. I'm not very good at learning that. I like to shove it all in. I feel more it's not enough. But that's why I'm not sure. All right. These are our rosaries. It's during the foodie revolution, which is open at the moment. We'll talk about it more later. Oh, and Jack is a patient that is our off grid specialist from the foodie revolution. Do you have to stay on shop for long time? Ah. I'm, I'm off grid. I'm not here. <laughs> <laughs> um, we invited him for breakfast, and then look what happens to him. These are rosemary. It's from our garden. Actually, these are from our garden. I'll tell you the secret. These ones are from Aldi, but they're not actually from Aldi. They're from the outside Aldi. There used <laughs> to be a beautiful area in Hyde, which is loads of rosemary bushes. And someone, I disagree with, has come and cut them all down and put flowers there. And this is the public good that you can go and help yourself to. And it's pretty amazing, especially if you've seen people cooking. Right, junk from behind. What am I meant to do? Pop them in? Yes, uh, but just a few, not much, and a bit of the time as well. It's in there. Ah. Yeah, try and get it in the pan rather than blowing around the wood. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Uh, Jackie was going to thought you were going to re uh, repeat the salad dressing of the truffle oil. So I like, was going to pay the truffle oil. So no, I have more stories. Now use that pan and uh, get that bit of um, roast. Yeah. Uh, now put the mushrooms, you might want to put just a few in at first. Look at these beautiful mushrooms. They are so good. Oh, Nancy, do you want to help mummy? No. She's in a foul mood today. She is, she's like the cook. No, she's two. Is that enough? Exactly. Right, put them into like one corner. Oh yeah, butter. Put butter on top. I have top. put butter on top. Yeah, right. Now, uh, using Jack's pen knife, I'm sure he's got one there. <laughs> 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 yeah. Woohoo! Love of love of bread. These ones are from Dower Valley Game. Shop local, know where stuff comes from. They can tell you where every partridge comes from, every pheasant. We had a part of Halloween at Trick or Treat menu last night. We played little trick or treats. We could add um, Day of the Dead. Empaladas. Oh, I'm glad you should mention that. I happen to have one with me. Oh, in a minute we'll do that. Later. But um, we ask people if it's trick or treat, we can tell them what's in it. And we put pheasant in it. Because a lot of people feel like pheasant is too gamey. They don't like, I don't like gamey flavour. But those pheasant empaladas set my world on fire. Like, oh my God, what is this? It's just like, I'm just holding a load of blood. Yeah, just put one of them in because um, they use as Jack and Pop candy would like. Jack and Pop? Candy if you want. Cook that quicker? Yeah. They can cut your thumb off. And also, this is a shark. Oh, look at that. Look at the lovely inside of it. When I was little, I didn't realise that it was made from blood, but I'm probably quite pleased I didn't. What's this made from, that thing? Made from pig blood. Isn't that amazing? Hmm. You're not allowed any. Baxter. Dog. Shoe. Our dog didn't get to come because I forgot him. I forgot him. I went back into the house to take Xanthi for a third week. We left the dog. Right, so now I have... Is there any heat coming? It doesn't seem very hot, does it? It's not too plain, is it? Oh, it's hot. Yeah, it's hot. The Duncan, I was hoping... <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, he's not. Did you put your hand on it? The fact you can put your hand on it for that long, it wasn't that hot. Yeah. Oh, it's not a blue plane. Wait, where's our gas engine? It's because it's got a bit, a bit chubby. It's it's a bit even going to turn full heat on there. <laughs> yeah, it only, it only has full heat on there. It's because, I can tell you exactly why. See that black stuff? That's clogged it up and that's making it a blue flame. It's because it's windy. It's the end of the no, it's brand new bubble. Right, Dan, back into filming motion. Okay, we'll just... Over that way. Not oh, me! Not me, not the food. Oh. Hello! It is a very beautiful shot. You look amazing. I'm just so happy with my internet, my dear. I got this in my bag. Right, and my new haircut. Right, let us know what you're up to at home. What are you doing for brunch? What are you making? Maybe you're actually cooking on gas at work. Right, what am I going to do next? Facebook says, uh, says, ooh, oh, Jackie Vincent says pretty nails in with you. It's starting to come off already, so that's probably because I keep going swimming in the sea every day. Anyone else a cold swimmer out there? Right, what am I doing next? Well, we're a bit behind now, aren't we? Because there's no heat. No heat, don't worry. Don't keep moving then. Oh, I'm so yeah. Right, let's go to the empalada. Yeah. Right, go back to your tube around there. This, it got a bit flat. It was supposed to be a bit. So this isn't a skull shaped one. We made them skull shaped for the supper club, but this one uh, was this one for us. No, this is a pheasant from the Welcome to my world. We can try it on Jack and see if he... Um, yeah. Oh, look at that. So yummy. Let me just get a good look. Can you see that? Look at that. I just am not... Can you hold it there for longer? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Well, I, good yeah, I'm not a huge pheasant fan. I've said this before because it's so gamey. But I got Duncan. Duncan's a bit worried when we first did pheasant. Because, because I said Duncan, Duncan went on a pheasant shoot. He goes on this amazing pheasant shoot. And they look up, well, they look after the birds. He's still going to shoot them. But they look after them. And they're not all kept just ready to go out. They're all out and have a great life. Duncan would explain it much better. Um, and Duncan shot them. He was really worried when we start bangers and balls to say, in case it took people off, it was shot with me, or they were thinking it was really posh and not want to buy from us, or just how it would make them feel. And I went, you know what? We're just going to do it. You're, be honest, be us, and let's talk about the fact that you go shooting, you pluck the birds, and you eat them. We used to have them hanging up in my flat in London. Mm -hmm. My housemate, Jemima, was not very happy when nope. she came home. She could see it. Trying to get her. But it was our physical, one of our best ever selling things. People were paid for Coming back hurry, didn't it? Not because they were hungry, but because they wanted to take them home to keep them because they loved them so much. So I hope people felt the same last night when they it was trick or treat. So in your menu you got our trick or treat and you had to guess what meat it was and then you got your answer afterwards. We'd like to have a little bit of fun with our menu. But Jack, come on over here. You've got to try an empalada. Try an empalada, don't put it out before I'll get it. <laughs> 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 Images we call it all week. Yeah. Yeah. Might be too spicy for Jack. Let me try a bit. Yeah, you go. Keep making sure you're on the back video. Oh, you're on the back video. Mmm. It's on the back of the video. There you go. Good. I need to get up. Well, there's a phrase, isn't there? I, I got in trouble because I kept eating the rubber for the government. I don't know if this is going to work. No. Doesn't look like it. Right, I've got messages. Uh, Facebook user. Oh, sorry. I've got some food. I've got a mouthful of food. We've got. What are you? Trying to read out the messages? 
I just can't. Which woods are you in Tinkler's room, Bleen? This looks yummy. Jack Harold Thorne. Happy birthday, Duncan. Ign ignore him, Imogen. Do your own thing. Look. I only called this one once, but I felt amazing afterwards. Going to pluck up the courage to do it again. Who's that? Let us know. Birthday shoes. Oh, mushrooms. Look. This is a bloody disaster. But Duncan's got involved. He wouldn't even let me cook a whole breakfast on my own. Jack's like, I've got a farm down the road that we could have just cooked it up. <laughs> You're not getting this outside one with nature. Oh, well, a farm's one with nature too, but you know. Caravans. Oh, but what's the song about caravans? Stand up, stand up, every boy, join the caravan. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're singing along at home, but more in tune. Right, Duncan, you go back to filming and I'm going to put the next ingredients in. Right, Turn around. No, Duncan, like, quick. Huh? Unmute. Sorry, I'd muted it. We're back. I know, like, have you ever seen that couple in um, Father Ted? Or when they're on camera, they're like, oh, hello, dear. How nice to see you. And then as soon as the priest's gone, they're like, I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> that, that's how I feel a little bit. That's how I feel every day. <laughs> yeah, do love each other, really. yeah. Stand still. Stop moving. I can move like this. But you can't because you're filming. Filming man, you know this. You did a degree in it. I just not. Um, Jackie Vincent loves the song. Uh, and then that's a, just them complaining about me muting it. Duncan has won. You won Best of the Can Film Fest. Not alone, <coughs> but in a film that he was in. He was slogging. And I'm I was oh, indeed. You're on IMDb, it's not on you. I am. Right, slogging right, Santa. Look up Duncan. Which, to me, it says slogging Santa, but that sounds like I'm slogging Santa. Like, yeah. Were you with Ed Stoffard in that film? I was with Ed Stoffard. Benjamin, Benjamin, Benjamin Cumberbatch. Cumberbatch, but then he yeah. watched, um, what did he do? Uh, Sherlock. Sherlock. Right, so what am I doing next? Right, go in the pan. I'm in the pan. Oh, no, not in the pan, in the bag. Sorry, go in the bag. Yeah. Bacon, get the bacon out. Do I need Jack's? You might need Jack's weapon now. Ready? Thank you. Uh, Star Valley. Careful. I lost the label. But he's not getting any. Oh, just a little bit. Oh yeah. So we go. Um, tell me, Jack, what's going on in the farm at the moment? Uh, prepping for winter. Yeah. Uh, last bit of constant feeding. Yeah, put, two, put as many as you can fit in. Covering the whole grounds. How are you feeling about lockdown? How's everyone at home feeling about lockdown? It's a bit yeah. shit, isn't it? I think it affects, I think other people are far more, far worse on people. That's all your off-grid living, you see. You could be locked down forever. It wouldn't yeah, make any difference to you. Yeah, it's still March. I haven't got... I haven't got, I haven't got <laughs> So, I, so spread that, yeah, that's quite a good idea. Put the other stuff over the top of the um, bacon if you need to. I felt last night when it happened, I knew it was coming. It was kind of like, but I just... I can't, I struggle to understand why people are shocked. No, but I knew it was coming, but I didn't want it's it. Obviously. So I hoped it would disappear, and it made me feel a bit sad. For this one, I want to do something cool for her third birthday. Um, are you going to eat that empanada? No, you can have it. I thought, if anyone's got any ideas of how we can make the third birthday Ow. special, I did think of pimping up our car and taking her around to different friends' houses and asking them to put something on their lawn for her. So she could have like a drive-by, not she, drive-by birthday. Yeah, she actually like normally in the US car, dressed up one of the chickens in the house. Uh, you know, right. now, as long as we buy an egg or something, then you're right. 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 What are we doing? <laughs> Making a complete cock up. <laughs> right, yeah. Anyone's still watching this stuff? Six people are watching it. Um, 
<laughs> right. I think you should tell us one of your anecdotes about Irish people cooking breakfast in the wilderness. Well, I just eat it raw. No, there's no potatoes. There's no Guinness. Okay. No monster mash. We ate it all last night. Too yummy. Um, and it's really, 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 really windy. We were going to do all this on the beach, so I could go for a swim straight away afterwards. It's just too windy. Give up. <laughs> <laughs> you take it home and finish it at home. There's not, there's no heat. It'd be quite good for like slowly eight, eight, eight breakfast. <laughs> well, I'm quite annoyed. Well, well, I'm well, going to do it later. Now, I'm going to put it back on there quick. All right, it's going to work. You know what? Why don't we put it back in your bag? something to stand this way to stop the wind blowing the planes. You too. Yeah. Like, but don't keep it on the food. Right. Uh, so you have, when you're doing your live, think about what is next. You are the director of this, the director of me. Well, we have to wait for that to cook a bit. So you, what are you going to do at the end? Time. I told you to tell us an anecdote about Ireland. You have to lead me into it. Oh, so can you remember the time that you were in Ireland? And, and yeah, we got food poisoning. We got food poisoning. That's a great one. You know this? No, it wasn't our cooking. It was someone else's. Um, no, I can't think of any anecdotes. Anecdotes? We might need one. <laughs> I tell you what, we can think about. We're going for lunch today. Where do you think we're going? Where does the chef go for lunch on his day off? Oh, not the king. Oh, Donald's. Yay! Yeah, we're no. Off no, 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 no. Logan, no. stop! You have to tell me to turn. Oh, them. Just, 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 stop! And you might want to turn the black one. Oh, that's that's, 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 that's that's positive. <laughs> right, keep filming. Oh, you're right on my face. Right, ask me some questions. Right, I tell you a story about breakfast. I nearly killed fifteen people for one. You know how that happened? No. I worked at my dad's bed and breakfast. I used to cook breakfast before I went to school. Um, and mum and dad had gone on holiday and left me to look after the guest house. I think I may have been 15, but maybe 16. And in South End, all of the nightclubs were down the other end of the road, so like Tots, which was then called Talk, Chameleon. So I used to go to the nightclubs, you know, on the road, I think most of us and then come back and go to bed and get ready for school. But I had to get up at five to cook the sausages. So I thought a great idea would be at two in the morning if I put the sausages on to cook on a low, low heat. Four hours. Yeah. <laughs> and left them on all night. There was smoke coming out of the door. The smoke alarm was going off. And um, some of the guys who were staying knew me quite well, thank God. And they didn't tell my dad. And they helped me paint the whole of the dad's desk before I came back. So I was very lucky to never ever do that. That was what I learned as a 15 year old, and I was also very thankful for my uh, smoke alarms. I don't think I ever told my dad that story. Oh dear. Yeah, and I got paid for it then, but they, they all were very happy. And I remember I put a chocolate on each of their beds to say sorry, which they told me I could F off with. Um, and so the next day I put um, six beers for each of them, and they were much more appreciative. Well, that's good. Yeah. Oh, we've got some messages coming in. Uh, Lauren Baker says, hi, Xanthi. Uh Have you been for a swim today? I haven't been for a swim yet. High tide is at two. So I'm hoping after lunch I will go for one, but I might be too full of wine. I wouldn't recommend it. No, Are they I'm, coming? Going on I'm going on Tuesday with Charlotte, and Duncan is going to have a fire ready for us when we come out. I can't wait. My hell good. Yeah. Um, and Facebook user has been to the beach at South End. Oh! Who did we decide who the Facebook no, user was? Lauren. Facebook user. It's Lauren. Lauren. Lauren, well, she just might have been to South End, but not this morning. Lauren, do you live in South End or do you live? I thought that was Lauren who took our photos. Look at Zanthi. This is what Zanthi thinks about this morning. Zanthi, can you say hello? Had a wrap. Right, look, this is going to be. Oh, we're, start we're starting to get somewhere. There's some cooking going on. Can we spin egg on now? No. Now, what do I do? Don't, you can't take them from me, you have to tell oh, me. Don't unseparate all the... Yeah, because you've now mixed the bacon and the... We want to get that bacon cooked. Take the mushrooms away from the bacon. This is why I am not... 
Sam Adams, I blame you. My mo but my mojo is about a ten actually, even though I'm moaning. The moaning is one of my favourite not about other people, but about myself. Me. Well, about Duncan, that's not other people, that's just husbands. Who doesn't moan about their husbands sometimes? If you don't, I don't think he likes them at all. Right. Or you've just got married. No, you moaned about me the day we got married. I think I moaned about you. I moaned about you the day we got met. Right, what do we do next? <laughs> it's true. Try and cook that bacon a bit. Turn the sausages a bit. Turn them a bit. Try to become a dragon and start firing it out of my mouth. What? Well, yeah. Right, I think we're going to go and finish this off air. Do you and, think so? Yeah, and then we'll put a picture of it up when it's done. Oh, it's Lauren by the Sea, but haven't been to South End. That's a different Facebook user. Oh, there's two lots. Duncan, there's lots of anyone that hasn't registered will write Facebook user. <laughs> so no, you, but. <laughs> you could have 15 people that are Facebook users and they're all different people. Oh, okay. You just can't get the staff. It's not trained in streaming. I feel it. I'm cooking. I'm trying to direct him. I've got a child who doesn't want my pat butcher coat on her. We've got guests. <coughs> right, Duncan, what's next? Turn the bacon, see how it's getting on. Okay, let's turn it. If this isn't, look, what are you actually taking on? Let's just bring it up. Right. What's happening? Not much. All right, yeah, we're going to go. Oh, Sophia. Oh, that... Sophia from Australia. How are you, you wanker? That's what we always call you. <laughs> that is the right Sophia, if it isn't. If it's not, it could be I'm any really Sophia sorry. in the world. I'm really sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we each other. Because you couldn't believe that that was the word in English. So I'm really sorry if that's the wrong well, word. Wow, well, this has been special. Who said that? Hannah. Hannah. Oh, dear. Uh, Hannah, have you ever... Yes. Facebook not. user says yes, I hope. No, Facebook, no, hang on a sec. Phew. Right. She said no, then she said yes, now she said wankers. Oh, it must be her. She lives in um, Adelaide. We met her in Krakow. And actually, Duncan and I split up after that, not because of the holiday, we did. And it was so fierce. That got us back together. She did again. indeed. She buy me some flowers, and that that was enough, really. Yeah. And we went on a we went on a weird adventure around London. Oh, you did a treasure hunt for me around London. Oh, how romantic! You were right. at the end. No. Then we went to Heathrow Airport. We did go to Heathrow Airport, and we played in a taxi. A toy taxi. That's not a good <laughs> now. <laughs> Jesus. So, Hannah, it has been special, Hannah. Imagine if I was doing this with alcohol; it would be even more of a. Hannah, what have you it? ever seen me cook before? Like ever. I think once you came for dinner and I stayed in the pub too late and then I came home and left the food out and went to bed. I think that was my, uh, from my, I get a dog. Mary to Jeff. Keep the phone, like, it's like on an angle. Right, I think we're going to go. All right. Goodbye. Bye, everybody. Have a good Sunday. Yeah, we all try and have fun.